Star Citizen 3.24 is out. Let's have a look at some of the models. Now, this is the Mole, which obviously has you know, been around for a little bit, but I kind of wanted to break it down and go from a modeling technique on how they are achieving these results and uh, how I can probably try and take this into my own workflows. Because, I mean, at the end of the day... <sighs> Now I am just gonna focus on this one panel and we're gonna kind of work backwards on that. Now let's just break down this piece and just work out what the heck is going on and why does this look so good? So first thing is if we go in solid mode, press tab, we can see that it's it's not that dense. It's uh, yeah, it's not too dense. Obviously it's everything's triangulated, which is fine, but Look at all these squares. And for those of you who have keen eyes, what are they? Decals. So coming back into Eevee, we can see all these objects that make up, uh, sorry, all these meshes that make up this is predominantly just decals. So these vents here are decals. And if you've been part of my Discord, you'd know that I've been playing around with decals a little bit more. So I, I don't think we really need to talk about the modeling too much. It's fairly straightforward, but it's more materials are doing all the stinking work. So over here on the right hand side, we can see just the giant amount of materials. Not really, it's like seven, three, six, nine, 12 materials, well done Marco. And over here in the bottom left, we can see the material that I've got selected at the moment, the Argo Mole exterior emblems. So if we go tab into edit mode, I'm gonna deselect everything with A. Let's go into select. There we go, that's, that's, that's all it is. Um, so if we were to jump over into UV editing, Let's make sure we've got the right material selected. Select our mesh, there we go, we can see how, it's just, oh, so simple. <sighs> Let's go hide them, we'll go find a different one. Let's go on that, control L, nope, we're gonna have to work backwards. So if we go select, I don't see anything. Let's go select on that one. All right, let's check out this material here. So if we were just to click on that, okay. Uh, we can see, like we can see all the groups in here. Let's see if there's any textures sitting in within here. There is. Bare metal. Noise. Is there a color? There we go. Let's now grab that material. Control V. That there. And as you can see, a very simple material applied to this. However, it doesn't seem to be matching 100%. Let's, let's pop out. It's a primary color. It's got a secondary color. What do we got here? This is all edge wear. There doesn't seem to be much edge wear on these pieces themselves. Oh my goodness, jumping into here. Oh, the material setup, Jace. It's all over shop. Oh my goodness, what the heck is going on? For someone like Just 3D Things or Curtis Holt, they'll be like, oh yeah, it's fine, it'll make sense. Won't pick a different material. Uh, let's see, I wanna find these ones here. So, let's go select. Oh, there it is, that was the next one. So coming into this material, if we were to click here, this is the texture set that make up all these panels in here. So if we kind of like flick through them, there we go, alpha, what's that, displacement, glossiness, oh my goodness. Now, all creating this kind of stuff is actually fairly easy using decal machine. So if we were to jump into a brand new tool, go into like a plane or something, and we wanted to make a kind of like a slot, I guess. Let's go I to do an inset, E to extrude. Um, however, I'm gonna make this side uh, GZ a little bit bigger. Let's select that face. We kind of want to have angles in so we can actually see some extra details. And then from here, I'm going to bevel the heck out of all this. Now, the reason why I'm selecting the vertices, or sorry, the edges, is because I don't want to select the corner pieces because this outside action, action is going to be our alpha. Let's do a control B. All right, beautiful. So we have that, you know what? I don't think we've slid this out enough. There we go, that'll just give us some variations. Let's just select all and we'll deselect the outside vertices. That would have been easier. Well done. Control B. And then from here, let's just go shade smooth. I can press N. Let's go down into decal machine. Uh, create a new decal. Why not? 512. It's a little bit too much, but big whoop. 4 alpha GPU, please. From here, I'm just going to press create simple decal. While I'm here, I'm going to add it into mine. Let's go slot underscore zero one. Add to decal library. Coming into the cube that we were playing around with for KidOps, if I press D, click on this one, and we add in our slot. There we go, bam, like that. So now we have created 
the exact same thing uh, that they have on their wings as well. Oh my goodness, this is so good. So we're not doing kind of like um, hard surface modeling, just a simple decal, that's all it is. Now, jumping back into our scene, I'm more interested now, actually, these panels as well. So if we go tab into edit mode, we can see that this panel here is simply the best. Hope that's in your head. That it is just this line here. That's all it is. The exact same thing. It's just, it's just a decal. Back in the decal machine. So we can do the exact same thing as well. Let's go into cube, uh, Julie, if I were to do this, let's go control B. I'm just kind of doing something really rough. I can now shift left click my cutter, my object. I can press D slice and uh, we've created that. That's pretty cool. I think we might need to just adjust it a little bit, but yeah. <sighs> But the last thing that I want to look at is this material, this orange material. Let's select, oh, not that one. Let's select this one, select, nope. Why there's two materials, I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna look at this one here. Um, if we click on that, it didn't come over. We can see that this is the underlying wear here. Um, and we can see that it's just kind of like all spread out. It's almost the equivalent of a not so much a cubic projection, oh, but in a way it is. But let's delve a little bit deeper into this one. So if we would go into this group and we select on that, this is the texture where all that information is coming from. And so this is our grunge, obviously, and then this is our main paneling. And it's more being an alpha, just sitting kind of like on top. Oh. However, that is not the full story. Up the top here, if we go into this one, and we select in here, we select this map. There we go. This is the top map. It is so, looks so simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and replicate this and then I'll put it up on Patreon, my own version. As I'm currently building this ship up, uh, this is something that we'll be building on live stream. Um, and then from here, you know, we can go into D, let's throw on that, da -da -da. let's hold control and snap that into place. Shift D, we'll hold and control and snap that into place. And we've kind of got these slots coming through. It's just adding so much detail. But that external material, I need to get that one going. Like well, and subscribe. <laughs> so maybe next time we'll look at the hull A and do a bit of a breakdown. And um, oh geez. And work out what are decals, what is mesh. I mean we can semi-make out what it is now, but it's just kind of like more inspiration. One other thing that I've noticed really, really big thing is how many stinking lights there are. So if I were to go filter and just lights, that's how many lights there are. That's a lot of lights.